never gonna stop raining. Never. Never. Alright, so we gotta go out and tune and get an alignment. Uh, the alignment place is about a half hour away, but we're leaving an hour and a half early. You wanna know why? That's why. So one thing I figured out over the winter, I didn't know I fixed, and I just realized it. I have a speed sensor. That's never worked. I don't remember what I did over the winter. I couldn't tell you, it's been a long time. But I did something, and now I have a speed sensor. It's wrong, but it's because I'm using the wheel speed sensor literally off the wheel hub. So now I just have to go in HP tuners and calibrate it to get to the correct wheel speed, and then I have a speedometer again. You don't open your banana like this, you're not American. It's the only way to open a banana. I'm fully aware that it, that's technically how I do it is backwards. We're eating our breakfast because uh, in this fancy vehicle you can't drive and eat. So we're at Sheets. We're, uh, it's 8.49. We've, we're almost halfway there. <laughs> I'm playing Mario Kart. This is Mario Kart. I'm waiting for the fucking shell to come out. <laughs> you know, fucking turtle shell. It's a car right now, bro. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm fighting everybody in this parking lot. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm throwing this motherfucking banana pill out. <laughs> Someone just sits there and spins in circle. <clears throat> That's how we have to drift this tomorrow. Throw banana peels on the track. I feel like with your wheel speed, you never feel the banana peel. No, not at all. I need the key to the bottle. Yeah, I figure we're not going anywhere yet. Gotta eat. I like the fogginess that's becoming in the car. <laughs> I'm so glad I record stuff like this. <laughs> Damn, bro, you handed me the key without putting the flip back in. It's a flip key. Fuck! I love this key. It makes me feel so important. That's not what I was expecting you <laughs> to say. I feel important with this. I feel like you're overcompensating everything in your life. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Everything screams, I'm a dad driving a Cadillac. Everything screams, me life crisis. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I feel like if this was my midlife crisis what car, up, I would, uh, I don't know, I think this actually might be. <laughs> nah, 
So where are you spitting that at? It's not swallowing. It'll be all right. That's how you get cancer. I mean, no. But thank you for making me think I'm gonna have cancer all day. <laughs> so. uh, Fucking goddamn key. Gotta flip it, bro. Dino Force. Is that what it was from? I couldn't think of what it was from. <laughs> So we got the car lined. We ate, uh, ate some glizzies. Ate some glizzies. Well, I haven't ate my glizzies yet. They're right here. Um, got the glizzies. For some reason, I got three glizzies. I don't even know if I can eat gliz three. Gl There's four glizzies in here. Yeah, so I was gonna have one more. It's oh. just ketchup, so I'm not scared of eating them in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Other okay. ones had relish. I was like, I for sure ain't eating four glizzies. <sighs> not what I saw last weekend. I guess I'll eat this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How much glizzy can you fit in your mouth? Don't attempt it, please. It's on the internet forever. <laughs> well, I gotta re-download my file because my laptop shut off. Yeah, steering wheel's not... I didn't record it. Because I didn't know how Josh felt being recorded for the internet. So I decided not to. But just take my word that we aligned it. We wouldn't be here an hour away from the house. You know we're going to have to stop at the next sheet, right? For poo poo? Glizzies. It's, they slide in, they slide out. <laughs> <laughs> you can also cop my merch. Just kidding, I'm not selling it. I don't have any fans. But the 35 people who watch my YouTube videos every time, I appreciate you, fam. We love y'all. I always get at minimum 35 views. I see you. All right, explain what we're doing to your fucking uh, car here. Well, uh, what, what's, what was going on, first of all? So what was getting, the issue? I was getting a vibration in the rear. Um, and they couldn't balance my drive shafts because BMWs have a three post to a Guibo. And so, thanks to Seems, Le Seems Legit Garage. Well, that I does now, kind of seem legit. And uh, now I have a adapter for the front and back that That's use a Chevy four bolt uh, yoke. We'll see this drive shaft here. So, see this bad boy. 
We got them good old America joints. No more uh, rubber holding my drive shaft on. Garage. Is there a workout in there? Mine is pushing the car. <laughs> yeah, this thing is so heavy. Oh. All right, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna get this in and we're gonna go and do a bolt check on everything and then go test drive his car and then pull mine in. We have to fix my exhaust because pulling it off of the alignment machine apparently ripped my exhaust down. So I gotta fix that. And then we gotta do a bolt check on my car and I'm gonna cut the oil filter open just to verify the motor's still good. We put miles on it. And then, tomorrow. and we drift tomorrow. We got the drive shaft in. It is the correct length. All bolted in. When G or uh, when I uh, Germany fails you, go American. Go American. America. Definitely leaking out the rear seal though. You know, I leaking a little bit. I guess that's probably a lot of it because you don't drive it much. But like, I redid the shifter arms the seals, not the those ones. Oh, uh, not the output shaft seal? Yeah. Maybe you need an output shaft seal? They're not hard to change. I mean, now you made it harder to change, but like... And it's it's just gonna leak. Yeah. Hey, guys. You alright? Alright, so we did a bolt check. We found his little rat hose was leaking a little. Yeah, so we did. we got that fixed. Did we? Did we, River? Yeah. Good job. Fixed now. Uh... Rear end feels tight, his control arms are all tight, all the adjusters are tight. I think Justin. we're good. I said Justin. We have to fix a couple pinholes no. on his exhaust. Don't show them. <laughs> all right, so we have a couple holes. We're not allowed to show this apparently. Dad. <laughs> Censored for your, uh, for your eyes. Dad. But we gotta get a couple things fixed. And then, uh, yeah, time for test drive. Yeah. This man was trying to uh, have quick release coolant. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I swear they were tight. When? <laughs> Last year. <laughs> this is why we bolt check, fellas. So we're gonna go through. We're gonna finish bolt checking it. Uh, I may convince him to throw one of my old catch cans on it. Okay, on episode, I think we're on five now of uh, bolt check wonders of the BMW. Uh, his spark plugs are all loose on this side. Not all loose. I mean, at least two. So, uh, they were put in years ago, so we might as well pull it out and check it. So, let's pull it out. Let's check it, because I tuned it. Let's see what they look like. Why is your eye twitching? This is literally what we're supposed to be doing. Ooh. Other than oil, because it's loose, um, that's a pretty nice plug. 
It's a very nice burning plug. That's the same plugs it had on since ever. Trying all the Hearst curves in there. So we adjusted the toe. Always align it and mark it. Pull a little bit of camber out to uh, help with some tire wear. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. So we got my car in doing the bolt check and just doing a little odds and ends. Uh, these were damaged and it was causing my exhaust to sag. So threw some new ones on. They were old. They were very old. So replaced that and we're checking the motor. So I cut the filter open. Ignore all this. You get a lot. You got to figure out. There's a lot of stuff you get from cutting these open. And that's what that is. It's the black coating which is annoying but what you want to look at is the oil filter itself and kind of pull it apart and look inside there and uh so far so good i see nothing out of the ordinary uh for the first five to ten thousand miles you're going to get like debris flakes whatever else in your oil super normal uh that's exactly what it is it's nothing uh bad or damaged looking whatsoever i'm very happy with that um so next i'm just going to finish going over bolts uh just checking just basically the motor swap stuff and anything we touched even if we didn't touch it i'm gonna go over it um but yeah everything looks good that was my big ticket thing for tomorrow i fi fixed my exhaust rattle too um somehow my o2 sensor uh came loose so we had to fix that real quick, but no big deal. Uh, stuff like that, that's what you gotta check. Just stuff rattles loose when you got a big can V8. And uh, yeah, yeah. Got some rocks here. Jesus. All right, let's get to it. We're gonna get the new oil filter back on it. And yeah, I'm keeping the same oil too, so I'm not changing the oil in it, so. Um, we got to pull Joseph's BMW back in. It still vibrates. It is better, but it's not good yet. So we're going to get it up on the lift again. Um, and we don't have any parts really to fix it, but we got to figure it out. So, um, it vibrates up at 75, 80 miles an hour now. So we're gonna get it in, put it on the lift and get underneath of it and spin it to 80 and see if we can visibly see anything. 
I don't know. So no, it's not fixed. Tell us about it. What's going on? The car still fucking vibrates at seventy <laughs> miles per hour. Thousand dollars later, <laughs> still don't know what the fucking. Is. He's now. He's now. All right, so. It is now nine o'clock. We've been at this for over 12 hours. <laughs> do, you, do you have anything to say to your sanity right now? Yeah, tomorrow better be more fucking fun. Got the car though. I was having some issues with some vibration, same as Joseph. Uh, but I think we figured everything out. Mine ended up just being some exhaust hangers, apparently. Uh, yeah, yours is so fucking easy. But uh, got it done, got it tuned, figured out. I was having math. The map sensor was messed up the wiring. It's super weird, but I got it fixed. So that works. Uh, it runs great. We got these donuts. Mine are the darker ones, but Joseph got in on it too. Even had a little Honda go in there for a second. It's not donuts though. But now I gotta change the tire on the trailer and then we can load the car up. at this for 14 hours i'm tired i'm gonna go get a shower real quick and go to bed i'll upload this i don't know probably be monday um let's see what we do tomorrow i don't got a ton of tires um i have like two new sets that i i don't plan i don't want to use anymore because i want to save them for math theory um so it's just going to be more of a test day and break the motor in. I'm going to data log all day, every pass, and kind of just see what's going on and go from there. So, oh, let's, uh, let's get it tomorrow.